Narcissism, Religion and Spirituality Hello, I am going to be discussing Narcissism from a religious and spiritual aspect. My knowledge is limited on this topic, but what I do know and believe I would like to share with you. Anyone who has more knowledge than me on this, please share with us in the comment section. First I would like to read an extract of the 7 deadly sins from allaboutgod.com. While I am reading this extract of the 7 deadly sins, think about how this applies to narcissism. Lust, to have an intense desire or need. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Matthew 5.28 Gluttony, excess in eating and drinking. For drunkards and gluttons become poor and drowsiness clothes them in rags. Proverbs 23.21 Greed Excessive or reprehensible acquisitiveness Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity with a continual lust for more. Ephesians 4.19 Laziness, disinclined to activity or exertion, not energetic or vi vigorous. The way of the sluggard is blocked with thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. Proverbs 15.19 Wrath, strong vengeful anger or ig indignation. A gentle answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs 15.1 Envy Painful or resentful awareness of an advantage enjoyed by another joined with a desire to possess the same advantage. Therefore rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. 1 Peter 2 1 2 Pride Quality or state of being proud Inordinate self-esteem Pride goes before destruction A haughty spirit before a fall Proverbs 16.18 Doesn't this all sound very familiar? I personally believe that there is a spiritual and religious aspect to this disorder. It's like they are puppets of Satan. They use exactly the same abusive and manipulative tactics that Satan is known to use as referenced by any religion. From my research and experiences, the narcissist is self-aware. Sometimes we can go into denial and tell, them, tell ourselves that they don't really understand what they are doing. This is because we cannot comprehend how another human being could be so sadistic and evil. I used to think in the same way. I used to think that there is no way they could fully understand what they are doing. With all of the knowledge and awareness we have about abuse now, that will make them the most evil people who have ever lived in the history of mankind. But they really do know what they are doing. Some of them are not religious and believe that their evil acts will not change anything in this life or the next. Others are religious but believe they, they are the exception 
they believe that they're the only exception to God's rules and laws they believe that they do not apply to them I used my own thought process to try and understand theirs to try and understand them from a logical perspective but you cannot fully understand the narcissist or their behaviors by studying them from a logical perspective they have disordered personalities and you are trying to understand them from a, from a perspective of order there is almost no order to the narcissist they enjoy drama and chaos this is what they were used to when they were children and they never matured emotionally even after everything I've been through with the narcs I don't think there's many people that deserve to go to hell but it doesn't matter what I think or what any, anyone else thinks the ultimate judge is God and nobody can escape that every action and every intention we have is recorded and will determine our fate I think deep down they know this but they are too far gone to fix themselves now this is why they continue to rack up a severely large record of sins which will include some of the worst such as abuse and manipulation but regardless of whether they think it's going to be overlooked by God or not deep down I think we all know the truth even the bad intentions and actions that I've had in the past I know there could be a price to pay for my, my, my mistakes after this life but I wonder if because of the lifetime of abuse I have experienced so persistently by the narcissist maybe this suffering on earth has already cleansed all of my sins maybe all of the suffering I have experienced on this earth is simply added to my reward after this life I know this is what many people believe in all religions no one is perfect I've made mistakes I've done things wrong just like anyone else but at least I took control of it I didn't let my sins get out of hand these narcs however I cannot imagine or even comprehend what they will have to go through there is a price to pay for every negative action every bad intention God does not accept excuses I used to think that there are no bad people but when you think about it we all have either good or bad intentions the problem with the narcissist is that the majority of their intentions are bad so how could they ever be good people we are empaths because we are children of God not literally of course but he created us some say that the narcissists are possessed by the Jezebel spirit some of them act religious but use God as their weapon but how could a person with narcissistic tendencies ever be a child of God they are fooling themselves worshiping the devil without realizing God has made it clear that hate anger and envy are sinful emotions every emotion they have is a sign of Satan every action and every intention they have is a sign of Satan it's like they are robots satanic robots programmed to do nothing but abuse and manipulate you there really is nothing you can tell them they believe that they will forever evade any calm or punishment whether in this world or the next
but if you know any older narcissists you will already know that there always comes back to them in the end they never achieve genuine happiness fulfillment real love or a deep emotional connection these positive traits are reserved for those of us who do not abuse or manipulate people if you bring misery and pain to a person believe that you will get it back from someone else even if they are the only person that you bring pain and misery to this is no coincidence no notice how narcissists are already very miserable and fulfilled people they have low self-worth low self-esteem and no respect for boundaries this is a result of their abusive and manipulative acts they will die miserable and unfulfilled while happiness and fulfillment comes easily for us because we live in positivity don't make any excuse for these knocks let them lay in the filth that they have created all of the things they said you were they're only projecting their own insecurities onto you it's hard to accept that there are really bad people in this world but that's exactly what the narcs are we know that a person who does bad things a small number of times is not a bad person their good behaviors probably outweigh the bad but with the narcissist their bad actions and intentions add up to a very large number over their lifetime and greatly outweigh any good they might do in their lives we all slip up from time to time and do things that we are not proud of or might regret but the difference is the narcissist is very consistent and persistent with their negative behaviors a normal person will do something bad stop and reflect on that bad decision the narcissist will do something bad take pride in it and see it as an achievement and then continue doing the more of the same things you cannot get them to see the error of their ways because the fly monkeys are always around to reinforce their beliefs some narcissists may act like they are religious even though they live in a way that conflicts with everything their religion stands for others use religion to disguise their true abusive and manipulative personality remember the town that crucified Jesus the man who was intentionally created to be perfect that was a narcissistic community and Jesus was an empath it's a cycle that just continues on and on because narcissists will always blame you instead of looking at themselves they will always blame you instead of looking at their own sinful actions and intentions I can understand if a person makes a few mistakes you could say that it is their actions that are evil and not them as people but when you make the same mistakes 10 20 100 times and feel no empathy or consideration for your victim how can anyone argue that the person is not evil no good person would abuse and manipulate their victim so persistently and consistently if someone hurt you you might get them back once as revenge that is not always the right thing to do but still doesn't make a person evil but to repeat abusive and manipulative acts again and again with no end with no empathy consideration or remorse for the victim that is what defines an evil person 
I believe that when we keep trying to make it work with the narcissist and it never goes right, this is a sign from, from God that this person is not right for us. It's like how they constantly try to destroy us and yet we always recover because we are not meant to be destroyed by anyone. So remember the re religious books, remember how Satan used manipulation, gaslighting and temptation to lure in his victims. This is why I like to call them Satan puppets. Be careful, uh, be thankful that you are not like them. It is certainly shameful and embarrassing that these people still exist in what is meant to be a civilized society.